Hey everyone, hope you all are doing good. You are most welcome to Atrius IT channel. In today's video, we are going to upgrade and speed up the Wi-Fi connection speed in your laptop or PC by shifting from the 2.4 GHz band to the faster and maximum throughput speed in 5 or 6 GHz bands. Now let's get started. Before we start upgrading, let us quickly check if your computer or router both can support the 5 or 6 GHz Wi-Fi network. We will check its compatibility first in PC. So here in the search icon type CMD and you will find command prompt now. Please make sure you run it as an administrator. Once you do that it will ask you to say yes and then a new window will appear like this and here we need to enter a command we have provided it in the description below. Just copy and paste it as NETSH space WLAN space show space drivers and hit the enter key. And now here you have to look for radio type supported. Now here if you find the only option 802.11G 11p and 11n. It means that it only supports 2.4 GHz. But if you find option as 802.11a and 11c, it will support the 5 GHz band that would be better available for upgradation. And for the newest standard 802.11ax, it means that this standard will support extension up to 6 GHz bandwidth or Wi-Fi 6 feature for future proofing and best performance. If your Wi-Fi router and internet service provider offers up to 6 GHz bandwidth, you can enjoy faster internet speed and more reliable connections on your computer. Now, let us quickly walk through the process of checking the Wi-Fi band of your router using its IP address. And here type ipconfig to find your default gateway IP address. Copy it and paste it into your browser. Then press enter. Now you will need to log into your router. The default username and password are of an admin. Remember to change this letter for security. Once logged in, navigate to the Wi-Fi settings. The path might vary based on your router's interface. For me it is under local network and then WLAN settings. Every router might have a slightly different interface but the procedure remains similar. Locate the bandwidth settings. In my case I find both 5G and 2G options. It is crucial to ensure your 5G network is enabled if you have it. At the bottom you can also see the mode section. Specifying standard bandwidth that I have told earlier in this video. And after confirming, now we are good to go and upgrade the Wi-Fi to 5 GHz as in my case or 6 GHz may be available for you by knowing from previous methods. Alright, so once you confirm it, close the command prompt and approach to the very useful method to start here with. Head over to the device manager by right clicking on the start menu and selecting device manager. Look for the network adapters. Double click to expand it through and then you have to look for Wi-Fi adapter. That should be here Realtek RTL Wi-Fi 6 or that may be Intel Wi-Fi in your case. Right click on it to select properties now. From the top menu option look for driver and then click for update driver. Allow windows to search automatically for the latest drivers and install them. Once you are done, close this tab. Then from top menu option, click on advanced tab. And now here in the property box, you have to look for preferred band. So click on it and choose preferred 5 GHz first on the right hand side in the value box. Once you have done it, the next step is head over to roaming aggressiveness. I have set mine to the lowest because my Wi-Fi bars are already strong and I want to maximize speed. So if your router and Wi-Fi adapter are closer something around 10 meter, go for the lowest setting or maybe medium low. Since my adapter is near, lowest works for me. 
Give it a try on your end. Experiment with the lowest settings if you are present nearby to your Wi-Fi router. And after that, once you have done it, just check for 5 GHz wireless mode, as in my case, or for your case, it may be 802.11n/c. I am selecting all values as 802.11a/n/ac/ax. If all these values are not showing along with for you, then you have to select 802.11ac standard to get the best 5 GHz bandwidth internet connectivity. Then just click close to save the changes. And we need to restart the computer. After restarting it, open and check for the available Wi-Fi network. That if you are getting the other Wi-Fi, that means you have enabled your 5 GHz. So I can see here, I have two Wi-Fi connections. One is 2.4 GHz band and second is 5 GHz band. So you can try to connect with anyone according to your Wi-Fi strength. After that, you will notice that your internet speed has been boosted up. So that's all guys, hopefully if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if there is any specific topic you would like me to cover. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. Until next time, stay connected and take care.